Okay, so I'm going to do my Daniel fast update, um, and my face looks really swollen. Um, so I finished week two yesterday, and um, so I have less than a week to go. I um, My last day is this upcoming Thursday, and um, just for the more vain and weight loss part of it, um, I have lost a total of 4.6 pounds, I think. I'll have to do the math, but um, oh, just under 5 pounds in two weeks. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, but I have to say that, you know, the goal of a fast is more of, you know, um, focus, focusing on an area that you're trying to um, work on and, you know, getting close or developing a stronger bond with God, um, you know, just silencing yourself from a lot of the craziness of the world and, um, I mean... I have to admit that the second week um, was was just as easy with the eating. Um, I had no problems still staying on it. Um, I think the only time that um, I think I may have broke the fast um, was we had a potluck on Thursday. Uh, one of my coworkers is going to Afghanistan and. Um, I had some pita chips and I don't think it's like whole wheat flour or whatnot and then someone made a vegetarian um, uh, lasagna and I was eating it and I think there was cheese in it. Like I couldn't tell but after I ate it I was like oh shit and I didn't want to be like Bleh, you know spinning it out in the potluck so you know I and I I mean, when you don't intentionally do something, I don't, there's no problem. Um, but the one area that I did intentionally, knowingly break the fast is I drank this week. Um, and I'm okay about it. I There was something that was going to happen yesterday. And so I think Wednesday or Thursday, I bought those little bitty bottles of wine. I was like a pack of four, and I had one of those. And um, then... Uh, I think the next day I had, uh, I bought a six pack of beer and I opened a can and I didn't even drink a whole 12 ounces, which if you know the old Rachel, I probably would have drank like four of those. So I had that and, um, I don't know. I feel okay about it. Um, and then now, like, I guess this isn't so much of a spiritual aspect, but emotionally, I have come across just exactly what I needed to hear about my binge eating and my emotional eating. I found about two different um, channels that I had never, I can't believe I haven't ran across them in the like last four years or so that I've been on YouTube and how I'm always looking at up stuff like this, but, and they've been making videos for many years, um, I just, I'm a firm believer that sometimes you don't find things until it's the right time to find them in your life, because maybe you wouldn't have got it the way that you get it when you need it, um, and so they're on, you know, helping with binge eating, emotional eating, intuitive eating, um, and I don't know, I guess the way, maybe it's that I needed to hear it now, or it's the way that they've said it, but it just, like, really clicked. And so, I think last week, I had said, you know, I am allowing myself to feel hunger, and that I wasn't going to eat after 8 o'clock. Um, but even that, not after 8 o'clock, that, that's kind of restricting, and that can also lead to binge eating. Um, but because I do have such an issue with eating late and in the middle of the night that is the area that unless I'm excruciatingly starving I'm not going to eat till the next morning um and the fact about it is all this whole week only one time did I wake up 
or, or if it was after 8 that I was like, no, you know what, I'm hungry, I need something. And I think I just had like, I think I got a couple um, tortilla chips and scooped out some salsa and drank a bunch of water. And that was all I needed. Normally, if, if I just felt a tinge of hunger, then I'm like, oh, I'm starving, I gotta eat a whole second dinner. You know, and no, usually just a little something can get you through to the next morning. Um, and so I can say that starting maybe Wednesday, um, I started the more of the intuitive eating of just really sil silencing myself and saying, okay, is that hunger that I'm feeling? Um, so I started doing that and it wasn't that hard. It was a little scary because, you know, I have lost touch with all of my, like, feelings in that food area, you know. Um, but I did that, and it's working good. It's working good. Um, also, um, Cookie Party had done a review on a book called um, Intuitive. I don't know where it cut off, but um, anyway, I was saying how um, a Cookie Party, who is... Um, a beach body um, uh, fitness instructor, if I said that right. Um, she, um, anyway, she, re she reviewed that book, and um, so I ordered that one, and then I ordered another book called 50 Ways to Soothe Yourself, Not Including Food, um, because that's what I use food for it, to soothe me and to be my mom, to be my friend, to be security, to be um, just a lot of things that um, I'm not getting in other areas of my life. Um, so I know some of them are going to be the generic like take a walk, take a bath, call a friend, but I mean there's 50 things so there's got to be at least a few that I've never heard of before. Um, I got it on scared giving up um, my obsession with food, meaning that I spend so much of my day, you know, meal planning, counting Weight Watcher points, and, um, you know, I go to the grocery store, like, that. I love to go to the grocery store, I love shopping, because I like the process, I like, I like eating, but the thing about it is, is, like, my day revolves around food. And so it was really weird just letting go of that for the last few days, where, food was just like an added part. Now, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I don't know if I might, I mean, because it's like when you consciously try not to think about something, then you do think about it. So, it's like you, ha it has to be natural. So, um, so I'm, I'm almost sure, I'm like 75% sure that I think that I'm going to cancel Weight Watchers. It's really tough because I look forward to the weekly meetings. I like to hear what people have to say. I like when I lose the weight how, you know, everybody claps for you and you get a sticker and you... But I have to think, what is it that I get out of it? It's like the camaraderie, the, the group feeling, um, feeling good about myself. And I think I can find that somewhere else that's not revolved around food and points. Um, I'm thinking about maybe joining like a dance class or some type of group once a week and do that instead of paying 40 bucks a month to go to Weight Watchers. Maybe I can pay 40 bucks a month for like some type of class that I go to every Friday instead of Weight Watchers. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, it's your goal. Um, so you can be a lifetime member so if you ever want to go back it'll be free and then just go for that part the meetings that you like but don't go crazy over point counting and, and all that I don't know I, ha I haven't decided but I know that I'm at least going to use up my last two weeks and go um so I'm not, I'm not sure about that I am a little bit scared of letting go of, like, this whole menu planning thing. I keep thinking there's a way I can intuitively eat but still plan, 
you know, I can still journal what I eat, but do it intuitively, and it's like, I think, like, that kind of goes against each other, I don't know, but I'm sure that, I mean, if there's anybody that watch, that's watching my video that's naturally thin, um, do you still plan your meals? I mean, do you still do that and just eat them when you're hungry? I mean, how does that work? How does it work to, like, eat just when you're hungry, but not upset, you know, I don't know, it's just hard for an overeater like me to understand that, so if anybody can give me some advice on that, I'd like to learn how to, because I mean, I can't go, to, like, every time I'm like, hmm, right now I feel like a banana, like, I have to go shopping and get stuff so I can be prepared for when I'm ready to eat, so, that'd be cool, but, so anyway, this last week, I am probably going to be a lot more lax, I'm going to eat up the rest of all of the Daniel fast foods that I have have um but I think I'm past the restrictionness of the fast because I don't know how to explain it it's like fasting is a very bizarre thing for someone that's a binge eater and I feel like maybe I need to focus on certain areas of my life and I need direction and I need God's guidance and support but I think through the route of not eating certain foods doesn't work for a binge eater for me anyway um I just need God's help and I need to focus with him and I just don't think I can use the food component to help so I don't know but I think that fasting is great and I want to do it again but I think that because I do get caught so caught up in like what I eat um I'd have I need to do a, a just a simple fast like a water fast or a juice fast um because the fact that this fast is limiting certain foods but I still can have all I want of this or all the one of this you know I still find a way you know to make it a funky ass fucking situation so I think this was good for me it definitely directed me and helped me in certain areas but um I don't want to uh, Wednesday night I'm going to the Sade concert and we're all going out to eat before the um concert and um you know, a lot of times when you go out out to eat, you don't know exactly what's in the foods, but um, I will, you know, follow it as much as I can. But I will have a wrap-up, and then this week I'm going to try to figure out, you know, what's my next step once the Daniel fast is over. Am I going to go completely intuitive eating, or am I going to do Weight Watchers? Am I going to do a combination of both? Um, am I just... I mean, am I going to do calorie counting? So I, that's kind of my focus for this last week is what's my direction after the Daniel fast, um, eating wise, and then oh, I need a miracle in the other area. Um, I don't know why I feel like I can't completely disclose everything that's going on in my life. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, duh, the whole world's watching this, but. I don't really think anybody that knows me in my personal life is watching this, but I have such a fear that maybe someone will, um, and I'm very prideful, um, and I also, um, it doesn't involve just me, it involves other people, and I don't like to put other people's business out there, too, so, um, I don't know. But, um, hi kitty. So anyway, that's the wrap up uh, for week two. Stay tuned for um, the ending of the Daniel Fast. And then um, hopefully my, my goals for after that. Thanks for watching this long ass video. Peace and happy uh, Memorial Day. Labor Day. Yeah. Alright, bye.